let's quickly go over the things that I and now you know right now. Um, this shirt couldn't be more fruity. Uh, I'm drinking beer. Uh, we're about to get covered in about a foot of snow. And let's get to UFC Fight Night 20 predictions. I might change some of these. I've been going back and forth on a couple of them, but as of now, see, now you're going to look like the idiot when you say I was wrong because you don't know if I'm going to change them or not. Uh, as of right now, let's go with these picks. Off of MMA Junkie. No. MMA Playground. Sorry. Just from the bottom up. Nick Catone, Jesse Forbes. Forbes taking this on short notice. Good wrestler. Uh, Catone also a good wrestler. I think Catone's a better grappler, better boxer. Catone, unanimous decision, possibly a submission. Gerald Harris, Mike Masenzio. Gerald Harris, TKO, submission, second round. Uh, Tiago Tavares, uh, Nick Lentz. Tiago Tavares has all the talent in the world. It's just sometimes his head is not in the game, and that could be a problem. You know, if he's a fighter, he's got to get his, got to get his shit together. Tiago Tavares submission, second round. Amir Sadala, Brad Blackburn. You'd think that the UFC would want to give Sadala easier fights, kind of like they did to with Baroni, but um, you know, Blackburn is definitely capable of knocking Sadala out. I think Sadala is going to control the clinch game. Um, he could sub uh, Blackburn. I don't think he's going to KO him. We'll go with a decision by Amir. Evan Dunham, Efren Escudero. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why they made this fight, because Dunham could surprise some people here. He could definitely get the upset. I think Efren, though, will, if he gets in trouble anywhere, he could just control the wrestling. Uh, Dunham could pull off a submission as well, or get a decision, but I'm going to go with Escudero by decision. Rafael DeSanos against Kyle Bradley. Bradley could land a huge shot. Uh, he's got good boxing. Mm, decent to good boxing. Good power. I'm going to go with DeSanos by sub in the second. Gray Maynard against Nate Diaz. You know what? I know that's the main event, so I'm not, I'm not going to do that right now. Rick Story against Jenny, uh, Jesse Lennox is a tough fight. Lennox is a tough guy. <sighs> We're going to go Rick Story by submission in the third. Lennox could win that fight very easily, though. Jay Silva against Chris Lieben. This is going to be fun. This has fireworks written all over it. Literally. Maybe not literally. But uh, Jay Silva's got the reach. He's more athletic. He's got the power. Jay Silva. KO. Second round. Uh, Rory McDonald against uh, Mike the Joker Guyman. Um, both are pretty well rounded. Rory McDonald's only 20. Uh, he did fight. I've seen a lot of his fights. He used to fight at 155. The last couple of fights, growth spurt. He's fighting at 170. Good all around. Both guys, very good all around. Uh, but I want to see Rory McDonald win this fight just because. You want to see young up-and-comers kind of win. Uh, Guyman could win this. I really don't know how this fight is going to go because uh, they're both really well-rounded, and I, I don't – both their first time in the UFC. It's hard to it's hard to gauge how this fight's going to go. Uh, Guyman, on paper, you'd think would have the more experience. He's the older fighter. McDonald's uh, had a lot of fights. Uh, or a decent amount of fights, especially being 20. Uh, I, I look for McDonald to control the fight and win possibly a unanimous decision, um, although neither guy goes to a decision a lot, but uh, I, we're going to go decision. Aaron Simpson, Tom Lawler. Aaron Simpson's an amazing wrestler, like athleticism, like he's quick, his boxing. Uh, I just watched his fight with Ed Herman again, and you know, his footwork's good. He gets in out of the pocket. He's quick. He hits with a lot of power. I'm going to go with Aaron Simpson by TKO in the second round. Although, it's hard to pick against a guy that goes by the filthy mauler and comes out as the just bleed. 
guy at the weigh-ins. Just bleed and the huge beard. I like Tom Lawler. Aaron Simpson's gonna kick me. He's gonna TKO him though. Okay, main event. Gray Maynard and Nate Diaz. <clears throat> Already fought before on the Ultimate Fighter. Nate Diaz won by submission. <sighs> Both guys have gotten a lot better. Maynard uh, improved his submission defense. His boxing is is decent, good. It's pretty good. Uh, some power. I think in this one, I don't want to pick Gray Maynard because I don't like the kind of wrestler that he is. Aaron Simpson, um, guys that are quick and athletic and don't just take people down like Rashad Evans and don't try to, don't attempt to pass guard, don't attempt to uh, ground and pound, just take people down and, oh, there you go, there's points. Um, Gray Maynard can control where this fight goes. The Diaz brothers, both of them, I mean, Nick earlier in his career, Nate now, they have a problem against wrestlers who can take him down and stay out of submissions and control, you know, where the fight goes. I'm not saying Diaz can't sub him. I'm saying that the odds are more likely that Gray Maynard controls the boxing, um, doesn't allow Diaz to, you know, get on top of him, takes it down when he wants to, stays out of submission, and wins a decision. And that's going to be Gray Maynard. And then if he wins this fight, which I think I'm picking him to win by decision, I want Diaz to sub him. So if that happens, I will be ecstatic. But we're going to go with Maynard by decision. Boring decision. Um... If he does win this fight, there's a chance that he could get a title, title shot. And good luck taking down BJ Penn, and good luck outboxing BJ Penn. That's all I'm saying. Um, if Diaz wins, uh, I don't know who's going to win, who's going to get the title shot, because BJ uh, almost got guaranteed uh, a spot on. The Abu Dhabi card, which is UFC 111, one, yeah, 111. He wants to fight in April, so um, somebody better step up as a contender soon, or just give BJ Penn a, you know, a welterweight fight for the time being. That I'd be okay with that too. It's BJ wants to fight a lot lately, and I see you let him because I always want to see BJ Penn fight. Rambled on too long. Probably gonna do WEC predictions next. Gonna have that up guys stay metal